see what's inside the pizza box I think. As I crossed the door, so because I entered into the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. <laughs> what the f it was a cold, dark, industrial place <laughs> with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. You are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? <laughs> I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. Okay, man. Okay, man. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said ground floor alarm cable. Do not cut. Cut the alarm's wire. Done. With the cable cut, Hell the alarm yeah. wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. Perf. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just because of, just because Jesse said in the story that he the alarms never went off. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were. Oh my god. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Guys, chat. What are we doing? Scandinavian or exterminators? <clears throat> Scandinavian? Okay. Scandinavian guards. Not yeah. only were they tougher than normal guards, <laughs> they were light sleepers, too. Wow. Oops, I fell asleep. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, that's just great. So I can't put him to sleep because... Uh... Yeah, I think so. Probably I could have just shot him, you know? Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can use a s your string to tie up. String? Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. <laughs> They're tougher, yeah. Oh. Well. Uh. 
Let's just see what it does. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fuck. The challenge you prepare well. Let's see, here's the thing. <laughs> Exterminators, I probably could have just shot down. I can't shoot regular... Um... Soldiers, because well, let's see. Let's put a lot of effort into the. Let's see what exterminators do. Exterminator guards. The ultimate robot technology. Titanium endoskeleton covered with organic material oh to God. look like humans. Programmed to kill with no regrets or doubts. And I held no regrets or doubts about destroying them since they weren't alive. There we go. Okay, so... There we go. So I can just shoot him, perfect! <laughs> Finally, some shooting action, you know what I'm saying? They do a lot of damage, holy shit. They also shoot a lot faster, holy shit. That's an electromagnetic grenade, not a stun they grenade. Put a lot of ep X Terminator guards. Oh. Okay. Does that make sense? Are we saving? Are we sure we want we don't want Scandinavian soldiers? I think this is more interesting to watch. Okay, I can stun them and shoot, I guess. All right. Welcome to the basement. What the fuck? Uh The Lord of the Labyrinth. The if Lord I hadn't of the... had enough already, <laughs> a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I am Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's <laughs> behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison. Which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. <clears throat> Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the Labyrinth, but I had no business in these catacombs. I was focused on my escape. 
so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the labyrinth? No, thank you. Okay. Yo, I could go one floor higher. We'll do that later. Freeze! Hands up! What happened with Dr. Hoffman is kind of long to explain. Do you want me to summarize it? Tell everything or summarize? <laughs> what are we doing? Want to have some cutscenes? A little bit of a longer story. <laughs> don't even think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to drop that fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample. How in the world do you know that it's a fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample? <laughs> what else would be in the hands of a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? How do you know I'm a scientist whose expertise <laughs> is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen if I drop this and the flask is broken? Of course I know. The radiation will flood the whole room. And that would kill us all. I know. I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Now turn around. Slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment, I can only turn in multiple wow. 90 degrees. <laughs> and turn around 90 degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh god, he has a weapon! Wait, you said Dr. Hoffman? Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was tall, German, and hairy. <laughs> he won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes. Life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories. What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable. You'd need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field. That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. <laughs> you disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What are you saying? The H wow. comes from hydrogen. Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with scientific slang. <laughs> Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait. I did it against my will. They have my daughter. If I don't do what they say... They'll kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor in the Alpha Building. The Alpha Building. The same one where I met the doctor. Suddenly, I pieced things together, and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building. Although I never saw this man's daughter. <laughs> doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. In her 30s? What kind of answer is that? A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. 31st. Don't change the subject. <laughs> what sort of father are you? It's okay. <laughs> I confess I've never been a good father since I've spent all my time absorbed in science. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. I know, I know. But it's the doctor. Situation is 
particularly disastrous. Why? Well, because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. Oops. Now it's mine. Jesse Fox here. Over. Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello. How are you? Not very happy, knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your... Wow, that story is really detailed, yes. bro. Holy Doctor, shit. This is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. That's what they're trying to get us to believe. In truth, he's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other doctors. I'm the only one here. They're trying to make us believe that too. They're manipulating us. Is your father, by any chance, an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist fathers. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter, and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like Sorry, I went to grab some snacks. looking after others <laughs> has a father that is involved oh my God. in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? It's still my going. <laughs> He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer. Well, the man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons that will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No, no, this can't be. You see, I told you he wasn't your father. What should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Oh, shit. Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. <laughs> Doctor, wow. she hung up. Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry, she wasn't your daughter. She was the other doctor. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're the same person. That's what they're trying to make us believe. They're toying with us. Are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people can die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not called being a monster. Right. It's called being a father. If oh, you were my God. Daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough. Where is the rooftop? Above? Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean, how do I reach the roof? This is Patrick. And don't <laughs> stall me. Understood? Another stupid answer, and I shoot. I don't think you'll do it. You don't look like an assassin. Really? Holy shit, what the fuck? fuck? It was an accident. <laughs> wow. It is but a scratch. Come on, my friend. Stand up. I'm going to repeat the question. Wow, I lost the med kit because of this. This time, I won't miss. Excuse me. You didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. Then this time I won't heal anyone. How do I reach the rooftop? The, there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. But you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. We, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. I swear. Fuck. I'll have to search for it. Wow. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us. I promised the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter or the other one? Wow. The other one. Then you had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. Oh See? my god, Jesse's the biggest moron like an assassin. ever. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape, about Colonel Harris. 
and the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. After that, I asked him for some assistance in my escape. But he was terrified of being discovered, which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral, but still volunteered some information. Bro, Kojima should fucking play this and react. I'd fucking piss myself. I'd pay to watch. I'd pay to watch that. You're not going inside, are you? I'm just going to have a quick look. Are you crazy? Without an anti-rad suit, you will die in just a few minutes. Already did it auto empties the body if you um save in a um... another thing. Don't shoot in the if you save in a toilet these devices don't react well to bullets. No you be careful in there. There are patrols of mechanical spiders. They can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work. So no shooting? He does. <laughs> Mecha arachnophobia. <laughs> Make a Ridley, dude. Fuck. Hmm. Anti radiation suit. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, I'm coming. What's up, Hoffman? My daughter. She is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? If they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what'll happen if they get completed. 
Okay. Well, okay, we can't. I don't have any grenades left, dude. Shit. Are you going inside? I'm just going to have a quick look. That's going to be. So, uh, wait, I can't. I can't use my weapons. Fuck. So I just sneak past him? I guess I just sneak past him. That's what I have to do. Yo, Cypher, the older Cypher. Hey, get cart going. Axios. Oh, Axios, what's up? Yeah, yeah, sh soon, soon. Bro, I almost died. Holy shit. What? Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Guess where I am. Oh, Axis. Take your home. The okay. radio signal wouldn't reach. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, but I'm man. still in the middle of the game, bro. The nukes. You decide to stop them? What a change of heart, man. No, it wasn't intentional. Then why the hell are you there? Trying to ride a helicopter out of here. Guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. Ah, shit. <laughs> Unless I stealth. The only, my only problem with the stealth is right now. The last part. The last room. Wow, rude. Go back. So this room is weird. Bro, I don't see an option here. Not a, no option at all. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe he doesn't see you in the shadow? 
You can't. It's just so dumb. It's so dumb. Hold on, let me grab grab another drink, grab bag. So, either I have to find a first aid kit or, uh, Why do you have no medicates, bro? Yeah, but I can't go anywhere in floor 3 because I don't have security card level 4 not just that also, F F three has. Oh shit! Maybe floor floor one has some. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. What if the entrance has something? The exit. No. Fuck. Maybe this room. Ah. I don't think I went to that specific room. I prage. In that pokey little room, I found a few crates. They contained. Oh, here we go. First aid kits. What a surprise. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Ah, oh, finally. Now we're going to save and then... <laughs> Continue. Bro, this game actually makes me want to play Metal Gear 1 and 2. The ones on NES. Just curious. Or the PSX, I don't know. Like, I'm really curious how those games are. Alright, thanks, John. Take care, man.
<laughs> Fucking silence, dude. All silent over there. Damn, Adepega, where's your host? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't know that was... Shit. Fuck, I'm dead. Try, baby! Bro, what the fuck happened to you, the packer, dude? You used to be nicer, man. <laughs> Kid you. Okay. Well, how about that? Shut the fuck up, Adepag. Get the fuck out of my stream, dude. There we go. Got him. Do it, bitch. You won't. <laughs> Suck, no, you suck it, bitch. You s suck my juicy cock, you know what I'm saying? I go hang out. Well, do it, bitch. What the fuck? What are you doing here still? <laughs> Man says all these words. Alright, this is it. So if this doesn't work... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Bro, you're triggered, man. You feel the need to say all these words, bro. <laughs> just, just, just go, man. Just go to MST, bro. You know what I'm saying? Alright, this is gonna be a little tricky. Oh, that was, that was close. Fox, do you copy? Monka gun. You, Robert. Guess where I am. Don't kill me. I don't think you're home. The radio <laughs> signal wouldn't reach. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, man. Where they're prepping the nukes. True, dude. You decide to stop them? I, I didn't miss heart, you. Man. Where have you no, been, bro? You know? Where have you been? Then why the hell are you there? Nah. I'm trying to ride a helicopter out of here. Guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. Alright. Got another camera over here. Hmm. I wonder if I have to grenade it twice. I don't think so. Oh, shit. That was good. So my only concern is... How do I get this bastard? I think I fucked up. Ah, man, I almost had it. I'll just do this. Hey, area is clear. 
So many soldiers. Returning to my position. Base. Area is clear. Returning to my position. What the fuck? Returning to my position. Base. Area is clear. Returning to my position. Oh, that was close. So how do I reach that camera? Um, that other camera, I don't see. Oh, now I get it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. I have to wait until he disappears because he's going to give me trouble. I'm toxic. Okay, that was toxic. I'm sorry. Bro, no! Suck. Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I can't hide. Why can I not hide? Just go at the wall, Jesse. Mike. Oh my god, that was so fucking close. Let's go! Oh my god! Holy shit! Give me that coin back, bro. Oh shit, let's go. This was the access card I needed to reach the rooftop. Now I just had to check if there were any helicopters up there. Wait, is that a map? Okay. What the hell are they, are they playing with coins? <laughs> wow. 
Yo, let's go. I'm already here. Okay. I was on the third floor. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run of the mill guards. They were Japanese mercenaries. What the fuck? Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. Wow. But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard. Oh my an god. An angle of 180 degrees. Oh my Getting god. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Well, how am I supposed to, like... Wow, they have a Japanese flag and all. Oh my god. Let's go to the roof. Fuck that. Let's go to the roof. Maybe there's an easter egg there? I don't know. I finally went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm be shitting leather, Adabaga. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, freely strolled around the whole fucking building? I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide smoke and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. I just have what to the make fuck? a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never-ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So, don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? Scumbag at a paga? Do I make myself clear? Yeah, they're all named Mike. That, that's a... Uh, that's the joke. <laughs> Fuck. Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. Wow. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck. You have children and you're smoking. You call yourself a Maybe some dumb idiot, right, bro? <laughs> I have good reason to keep you from your kids. <laughs> no, please. I'll give up smoking. I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your Damn. last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, 
Get out of here and go back to oh your Oh my home. god. Yes, sir. <laughs> Holy shit. Is able to communicate tower. I bet that's the third floor. Metal clamps. Roach clips, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. This is where I have to be. Oh, this is where I have to be. Damn. Um. I'm just curious. Let's do a quick save. There it was. The helicopter I eventually escaped in. Only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, if I flew away, the surface to air defenses would shoot me down. I had to disable that communication antenna so they wouldn't receive the command to fire. This would, instead, provide you the pleasure to take me down yourselves, you bastards. <laughs> okay, okay. So if you... Um... Wow, what is that? Level 7? Okay. At the uh, beginning of this game, he gets shot down inside a helicopter. And they take him as prisoners for interrogation. So I guess we're close to the end of the game. I, I, I hope. Heard hey, a coin. Shit. What was that? Damn! Achievement on top current action and you recover health slowly when not bleeding. Bro, I want that shit. Mike! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, shh. Oh my god, how many are there? Oh my god, dude, what? They just keep coming. Hmm. 
Takuma Takagasi. Of course. Guardian of General X. If you're the boss of those assholes, know that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese culture. You die, boy, my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. Oh my god. What the fuck? Can I just punch him? Fuck. Guys, I have to... Ah! I have to call it here. I know we are, like, super close to the end, but... You know... Just have to, uh... End here. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, as always, I'm, YouTube, I'm on YouTube, Snake Lancer. Uh, if you want to check out more content, you can check me out over there. Um, streaming on Twitch, so you can also drop a follow if you want. Would be nice. We are gonna rate someone, and let's see who we can. Let's rate P Toil. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next stream. Bye, bye.